Rebuilding lives after war is a difficult process. American filmmaker Brian Single explores the rehabilitation process of former child soldiers in northern Uganda in his new movie, Children of War. Maria Majalo has that story. This boy is one of the lucky ones who appears in Brian Single's documentary, Children of War. He's alive to tell about the years he and thousands of other children spent fighting for the Lord's Resistance Army rebel group. It essentially focuses on a group of children of about 80 children in this rehabilitation center and out of that 83 emerge um, more predominantly than the others, uh, two boys and one girl. The whole place, the whole village was set up late. The LRA has been fighting in northern Uganda for more than 20 years and has carried its fight into other parts of Africa. The rebels are notorious for their brutality and for kidnapping children to serve as fighters and sex slaves. Single was given full access into these children's lives at the Rachel Rehabilitation Center in northern Uganda. He does not interview them directly. Most of the footage comes from counseling sessions. I didn't want to interrupt their counseling sessions and their process of healing by stopping it and asking questions and getting them out of their emotional space. That ultimately meant that I did not get their translations until later. This is Akulu. When still a child, she became this man's wife. Abonga Papa is the former chief priest of LRA leader Joseph Kony, but now renounces his rebel ties and openly begs for forgiveness. The film shows the former child soldiers going through a healing process. They pray for forgiveness. They learn to live normal lives again. But when it's time to leave and rejoin their families, new challenges lie ahead. Single attended the premiere in Washington and interacted with members of the audience after the screening. Later, several people still had more to say. I think what this film portrayed very well by just letting the children talk is that trauma and that innocence that has been lost. I was very interested in the aspect of reconciliation, not only with the community, but with the child themselves. It kind of ignored uh, politics, really to concentrate on the human story and the human side of this conflict. It put a voice to a population that you don't necessarily hear about. Um, and in humanizing this group, you bring international and national attention to these issues that I feel ordinarily just get marginalized and neglected. What I would have expanded on is the follow-up at the very end because it kind of left you um, empty-handed. You know, where, what happened to these children? What's the next steps? Single plans to show children of war in other parts of the United States. He says more attention needs to be paid to all victims of war, not just former child soldiers. Mariama Diallo, VOA News.